here we are in Yatla, only 500 metres from my house, it's the crow flies. Um, this is a customer that we've removed in Eastern Brown many years ago, a carpet just recently, and then we've had these floods, and from our backyard we could see that their sheds, their chooks and all their animals and everything went right under. The floods went to 20.7 metres above normal water level. Now this lady just rang me and said they've been working in the shed trying to clear stuff up. Her husband's got a... What? What sort of snake was it? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, um, the lady was saying that her husband's leg is in plaster and, um, and she only got a teenage daughter, so it's making it hard to clean everything up. Whilst they're working away and tinkering away in the shed, sorting out all the dramas that have gone on, they look up and realise that Eastern Browns and stuff are in fact in the rafters. And normally Eastern Browns would not climb, but it doesn't surprise me that this has happened because, as I said, the water level in one of her sheds it was 10 foot over the shed and in the other shed it was just the tip of the the what do you call it peak of the yes, the roof repellers. was poking out the snake repellers all humming away are they anyway all of this here everything you see was underwater by far or the whole lot you can see the tide mark on the top of that shed there when there's just a tip of the um roof sticking out snakes use that as refuge now eastern browns <coughs> believe that normally normally terrestrial snakes they can't deal with it they climb up, no worries, they've used it as refuge, all good. And then, they get to a point where, what are you doing? They get to a point where they uh, can't get back out again. So that's what's happened. How's it going, man? Oh mate, not bad, and yourself? Good, thanks. You guys copped it hardcore, didn't you? Yeah. Looking from our backyard, I can see the sheds going under. Pen, as a cobra, oh, as yeah. a tree snake, as, as every snake imaginable, you know. <laughs> yeah, it definitely made a freaking mess. Yeah. And all your equipment and stuff was still in it. I got a little bit of it up, but I had no idea it was going to come up as much as this. <laughs> I had a lot of containers, I've actually got seven containers. I had a lot of stuff stored in them, I put it up high in the containers. Not thinking for one minute the containers are going to be taken. Did they actually get taken? There's a 40 footer. It's over. It's over and still on the riverbank down further. And it's got all your but, gear in it. Well, that's got that's got one one lot of gear in it, but the others have been 20 footers, and they've gone gone. They've gone gone. Yeah. So that's wait cool and see gone. if anyone says they have found a container in their property or. You're kidding. I went home to see if I could find my gum boots and I can't find them. Um, we swapped from the Commodore to the patrol, so the car can't get down there? No, no, it's just too, too, uh, too slippery. See where people have slipped. Yep. I can see what you mean by this would be hard to drive on, mate. Yeah. Can't even walk on it. Poor people, I feel so sorry for these guys, eh? He'd love it. Try to keep it to a minimal. I walk where everybody else has been walking because 
As a matter of fact, if you step in their footsteps, they might have been stolen from there. Now I'm a seasoned, experienced mud man. I know where to walk and how to walk. The old birds are getting a bit heavy as I walk. I think I'll be cleaning them off before I go climbing into the rafters. So what's the bet on what species of snake it is? Yeah, and those, those shipping containers that he said have gone. Had Eastern Browns under them. How's that two 20 foot shipping containers gone all together? Probably underneath the Logan River somewhere. Someone's boat's gonna go hook, hook it along and then boom. Shit collapsed far out. Oh my god, that's done some damage. I might have to live feed this too. Yeah. It's gonna be the end of it, the result of this. Hello. Hey guys, how you doing? Damn, it's better than you guys. Yeah, it's very depressing yesterday. As it was happening, she looked across there and I was thinking those ladies' sheds were down there somewhere. So and then a couple of days later, I thought, there they are, pop up out of water. Five ship containers have left the region. Yeah, your husband yeah. was just telling me they're gone. Yeah. This is horrible. Well, oh, Channel 7 were following me this morning talking about what animals were getting called to, like rats, mice, oh, snakes, everything, yes. in people's houses. But you mentioning that made me think, hang on, all the ground dwelling snakes have nowhere to go but in your roof. Now they can't get out of your roof because they can't climb properly. Yeah. So they're probably going to get a few oh. snake cages jumping up in roofs, thinking the cart python and blindly going in. Oh, shit, that's cut the nation around, you know? Yeah, that's why I said these guys sound like. Mm. How are you going? Yeah, so this is uh, just a little thing here. Yeah, it's an Eastern Brown. Oh, he is? Yeah, right. Yeah. Eastern Brown, there you go. Um, where can I put this that's relative? Uh, yeah, where's dry? Yeah. Actually, it doesn't matter. Now, this makes it really, really friggin' hairy, eh? Just like, oh, any time, like, I need some round of that to find this yeah. hairy situation. Mm -hmm. Having them above your face, like yeah. one. Yeah. There's definitely gonna be an art tuckering moment. Alright. Uh, hey, that's not gonna be slippery, eh? That's not gonna be slippery, eh? Just pick that shelf one to come down, please. Yeah, just be aware of the shell as well. Yeah. Is that on the lane? I don't want that to fall over. Okay. I don't want to watch this, but if I don't want to run up, I'd agree. I'm part of me who wants to go elsewhere too. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to leave you to it. I'm not going to. I won't talk to you. If you want, I can hold it open for you. So it's an easy, it's an easy. Yeah. 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 Be careful in case this snake comes from launching, because if it ends up on the ground on a kamikaze, yeah. I'm going to have trouble getting my fat gut down in a hurry. Yeah. That's, I imagine it's going to um, show a bit quicker than the muscle.
Well, you try to know what you're doing, be very, very careful. Although well, this is the second most nervous thing in the world, get your pants and boots, they're probably not. And if you walk in, you're looking. So they have done stuff like the top shelf or whatever, that woman with a few grab that and felt you. So, I'm also going to go Then again, just remember the ones up, up the road for washing your hands, and your roofs would have been the refuge. And I, I think I've seen that just one of the roofs poking out just a little bit, and that would have been perfect refuge, you know? This one, right, that's 